Muy buenas a todos amigos, soy Black, ¿qué tal estáis? Y bienvenidos una vez más a mi canal Aquí tenéis lo que todos pedíais Estoy aquí con Kenny, de hecho voy a... Hello. Hola, hola Hola, ¿cómo estás Kenny? I'm fine, ¿y tú? I'm fine, and this is like a dream And I don't know, I've seen your games Years ago and, well, you're yeah, amazing Thank you uh, Well, uh, we met uh, yesterday, we've been talking about the whole meme that there, there are between us What do you think about the meme? Well, before you told me about it, I didn't, uh, was not aware of it. Yeah. Uh, but what I must say is that it's really fun. <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, it's really fun. It's, it's it's a meme, so it's supposed to be fun anyway. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, so well, uh, do you know about the new CS:GO update? Do you know that uh, Coverstone is out? Yeah. And they put uh, that too, what do you think? Do you like that too? Do you prefer Coverstone? Well, I like Coverstone, to be honest. Uh, there is not a lot of maps that I don't like in CS, to be honest. Uh, I feel comfortable on every, every of them. Uh, but it feels good to have uh, those two uh, back uh, in the previous scene, to be honest. But do you prefer the new one or the old one? Uh, I actually played Dustin in matchmaking, so I couldn't say because we I didn't experience it uh, in competitive yet. Yeah. Uh, but I think uh, it's it's good to have some changes. Uh, so 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 I like it. Uh, I couldn't say if I like it more than the the other one. Yeah. Uh, no, for one. instance, I prefer the old one. And I I don't know. Maybe the new one. I think it's strange. I don't know. I don't know. I feel it, but. Yeah. But I don't like that too, I mean, I prefer Coverstone or... It's, it's, it's mostly because it's Dust2 and changing Dust2 is something big because it's uh, the, the, the most famous one. Yeah. Yes. Well, how do you feel with uh, Mixwell in the team and MBK as in game leader? Uh, well, Mixwell has been really impressive. Uh, I was not expecting him to be that good, to be honest. Uh, I'm really impressed. Uh, I like the player, I think he's really smart as well, uh, outside in the game. Um, he likes a bit of communication, but it's also pretty hard for him for the callouts and stuff, uh, because it's all in French. Uh, but so far, I think he's a great fit in the team. And NBK as in game leader, uh, I think he works hard, I think he, he, he has everything to be, to be a good game leader. Uh, so far he has been... He has been convincing to us, uh, but the toughest part of being a game leader is uh, in the long run, so we'll see. I think he has a lot of pressure, I don't know if you feel it. Yeah, he has a lot of pressure and as everybody knows, uh, he's, uh, he doesn't have the, all the time, like he doesn't have like uh, a year to, to, uh, yeah, to, prepare. to prepare and stuff, so, so, so yeah, he's, he's a bit uh, uh, running out of time. But uh, what, what I can say is that so far he's been he, he has been a great game leader. I hope so. <laughs> uh, I did a top five uh, about the best snipers in the CS:GO scene, but not only this year, in the whole CS:GO scene. Uh, your top five is well, I can tell you my top five. Uh, fifth uh, was uh, Oscar. Fourth was. Um, JW, third um, Fallen, second one Guardian, and you were, for me, you, you has been the best, you have been the best MVP in the world. All right, okay. The fifth might be spent difficult though. No, for instance, a lot of my comments were like, where is device, where is simple, and no, you no, know. No, I think it's in the world story, right? In yeah, the it's story. in the world story. Uh, It's difficult. Yeah, the fifth <laughs> you, is difficult. You can think about it. Like I have four. Yeah. But the fifth is difficult. <laughs> but I would say that in the top five there is uh, GW, uh, Guardian, okay. Fallen, of course, myself. So we pretty much agree on this. And the fifth, uh, Oscar is might be a good idea, but I don't feel like he's been here for too long. You know? Yeah. No. The thing is, I. I choose the like the best performance. Yeah. So it's not like the best MVPs in the in a, in every year, you know. Yeah. It's the you know your best performance is like you for know me. your high level. I think it was the best one in the in the CS:GO story for me. Gotcha. <laughs> so 
Maybe, I don't know. Simple right now is really good, but... Uh, I would say Gvice. Gvice? I, I would prefer Gvice because... Simple and Gvice are pretty like similar players. Uh, they are both really good with all, but they are also really comfortable with uh, rifles. And Simple used to be a rifle more than, uh, than an orb back then. Uh, Gvice has never been like shining like like those are offers but he always been super solid and super good uh, so uh, I think in time of consistency he deserves to have a, a spot in the top 5 device a lot of my subscribers told me device has to be there <coughs> but you know it, 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 like I mean Oscar makes sense as well yeah well a lot of people think that CSGO is dying or is died what do you think about it? no I don't think so I think he's actually it got a, like um, it got big super fast. Uh, it grew super quickly. Yeah. Uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty much normal that, that you have a, a period where it's more like stable. So I think we are in this period where it's actually stable. Uh, but people start to be involved in esports, uh, especially in CS, more and more. Uh, so, I think so. so I think uh, we are in the, in the stable period, but overall CSGO is not dying, uh, that's the opposite, I think it's actually getting even bigger than it used to be, uh, but it's normal that it, it's a bit slower than uh, at the beginning, Yeah. because in the beginning you, you start from nothing, and yeah, it got super big, super fast, and now it's stable, but uh, it's good, it keeps improving. And what do you think about the game right now? Do you like it? I mean, there is some, for instance, as you said, it's overpowered. Uh, do you will you fix something? Uh, I think yeah. I think everyone is complaining about the CZ. Uh, I think it's uh, obviously overpowered. Um, out of us, I never been complaining a lot about CS. Well, of course, I got a bit pissed when they left the hope, but uh, I think it was needed, even though it was a bit a bit too much, in my opinion. Uh, but. Uh, but all of us, I'm really satisfied with uh, uh, what Valve does with the game. Uh, but if I had to change something, it would be the, the CC. The CC. Uh, for instance, uh, Simple told me that he will uh, buff the Tech 9 and maybe nerf the CC. Yeah, uh, I think the Tech 9 was, uh, was a great weapon. I mean, I liked it, especially at the, the second weapon for the op. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, pretty much like the CC back then. Uh, but yeah, I think the, the technique was also on board. Uh, but I think it's kind of like quite the hope they left it a bit too much, uh, so much that no one is using it uh, at this moment. So yeah, I think it's uh, the the, the technique deserve uh, to be happy with a bit. Who is uh, the base MVP to face? I mean, when you are playing right now, and the base MVP to face is all right. Uh, it's a bit complicated because mm, like my staff has been pretty comfortable playing against uh, other AVP. Yeah. Especially like Warden Fall and stuff because I know them for a while now. Uh, GW as well. So uh, we know each other perfectly. Uh, so I pretty much know how to counter them. But it's much harder to play like the, the newcomers, you know? Like uh, like the first time I played against the uh, move from Gambit, the first time I played against the Oscar, uh, that was a bit complicated because they were like um, unpredictable to me. To me. Uh, and uh, they had pressure sure because, you know, like um, they were like newcomers and I've been here for a while now. Yeah. You know? so, so I think uh, that's the, the, the hardest offers to play against uh, might be the, the one I actually don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm going to show you some of my plays. I did it like be my best <coughs> plays in three months, so they are not actually my best plays, but, but I think they are good. You can yeah. Dos, 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 no, ahí está, me ha hecho sentido. Bueno, Black. You know, funny story. Remember the, the last collateral you did in Inferno? Sí. To close the match? I did the same, oh. like, the day before. <laughs> And people were like, you are the fucking Kenny. Bueno, vale. Eso es 
Come on, bro. This one is one of my favorites. Almost died. This one is. It was a dance cup, right? Yeah. No, no peace cup. Um, sometimes I think in this one I usually no scope if I can do it. I uh, use only quick scope. That's the difference. <laughs> and this one is the the collab. <laughs> Do you prefer your collateral or mine? Well, mine, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mine was at like 15, 12. Well, mine, I stayed the, the whole game because we won. We were like. That's good. Much. That's good. I mean, you. <coughs> You have good reaction. Yeah? Yeah. Well, if Kenny says. <laughs> so, well, this is, a, this is the interview. So now we are going to open some cases. Maybe I unbox a Dragon Lord souvenir. Did you? Yeah, Lowell. But okay. it was like one year ago, yeah, in January. One year ago was awesome. So right now we are going to try to, to get the Kenny's uh, cobblestone up. So, Kenny. Nice to, to meet you, dude. You're amazing. And I hope seeing you winning a lot of tournaments. So, guys, well, now in Spanish. Muchísimas gracias por estar por aquí, chicos y chicas. Espero que os haya gustado. Espero que mi inglés haya sido más o menos de correcto. Y lo dicho, vais a ver otro vídeo donde vamos a abrir unas cajitas. Así que un saludo. Hasta la próxima. Yo can say goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs>